Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a profound exploration of two giants in the world of philosophy and spirituality. Today, we venture into the heart of Stoicism versus Christianity, finding similarities. It's time to peel back the layers, confront the tough truths, and unleash the inner powerhouse within you. So fasten your intellectual seatbelts and let's dive deep into this thought-provoking journey. Chapter 1. Two Paths, One Virtue Our journey begins by recognizing the fundamental similarity between Stoicism and Christianity, the pursuit of virtue. Stoicism teaches us to seek wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. In the Christian tradition, virtues like faith, hope, and love are cherished. Both paths aim to shape us into better, more virtuous beings. Stoicism, founded on the teachings of figures like Epictetus, Seneca, and Marcus Aurelius, calls for wisdom. As Epictetus wisely noted, he is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. On the other hand, Christianity echoes the importance of faith, hope, and love as virtues that guide one's life. Chapter 2. The Power of Resilience Now let's discuss resilience, and Stoics and Christians alike understand the importance of facing adversity with inner strength. The Stoic warrior's endurance and the Christian's steadfast faith both provide a powerful framework for overcoming life's challenges. Stoicism's philosophy is encapsulated in this quote by Marcus Aurelius. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Similarly, Christianity teaches us the power of faith and resilience through challenging times. Both philosophies encourage us to be strong in the face of adversity. Chapter 3. Turning the Other Cheek Here's a point of divergence. Stoicism encourages a rationale and calculated response to offenses while Christianity teaches forgiveness and turning the other cheek. Both approaches aim to find peace, but through different means. Stoicism emphasizes a logical response to provocations. As Seneca wisely counsels, anger, if not restrained, is frequently more hurtful to us than the injury that provokes it. In contrast, Christianity advocates for turning the other cheek and forgiveness, guided by the teachings of Jesus. But I say to you, do not resist the one who is evil. But if anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to him the other also. Chapter 4. Embracing Vulnerability Embracing vulnerability is a cornerstone of Stoicism, but how does it relate to Christianity? Well, both philosophies acknowledge human imperfection and the need for humility. In vulnerability, we discover our shared humanity, fostering empathy and compassion. Stoicism's Epictetus reminds us that he is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. This wisdom resonates with Christian teachings on humility and compassion for one's fellow humans. Chapter 5, De Ruan, Jury, The Moral Compass. The moral compass of Stoicism points toward living in harmony with nature, guided by reason. Christianity, on the other hand, emphasizes living in accordance with God's will. Both paths provide a moral framework for living an ethical and virtuous life. Stoic teachings are rooted in reason and the idea that one must live in accordance with nature. As Seneca suggests, True happiness is to be free from perturbation, to be cheerful in all places among all people, to be ready to die. Christianity's moral compass revolves around living according to God's will, encapsulated in teachings like the Ten Commandments. Chapter 6. The Pursuit of Inner Peace Let's not forget inner peace. Stoics seek tranquility through self-mastery, while Christians find it in their connection with God. The goal is the same, to find solace and contentment in a chaotic world. Stoic philosophy emphasizes the pursuit of inner peace through self-control. As Marcus Aurelius guides us, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. In Christianity, 
inner peace is sought through a deep connection with God, as Jesus says, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Chapter seven, faith and fate. Finally, the stoic concept of accepting what's beyond our control aligns with Christian faith in God's plan. Both philosophies encourage surrendering to fate with grace. Stoicism's emphasis on accepting what's beyond our control is beautifully encapsulated in the words of Epictetus. Make the best use of what is in your power and take the rest as it happens. Similarly, Christianity encourages faith and trust in God's plan. As Proverbs 3, 5, 6 reminds us, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your understanding. As our exploration of the similarities and differences between Stoicism and Christianity unfolds, we've uncovered a treasure trove of wisdom. Whether you lean towards the Stoic path or the Christian one, both offer profound insights that can help you become the best version of yourself. Are you ready to embark on this transformative journey with us? Together, we'll uncover the wisdom that both Stoicism and Christianity bring to the table. Remember, it's not just theory. It's a call to action. Stay bold, stay true, and let's explore these ancient philosophies together. If you've enjoyed this journey through the philosophical clash of Stoicism and Christianity, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more thought-provoking content. The world needs your unfiltered brilliance.